Yeah, even for me now, when I go up there and people are saying, this is wonderful, it's not like I feel like, oh, I did this. No, I don't feel like I did it at all. I felt that it just grew out of what a possibility, you know, and, and people that could connect with it, I think, you know. Practically no buildings. The students really decided, okay, we really need a space for all of this. Using the recycled materials was, was a key to making things happen. Yeah, so the ARC really became the center of, for the students, certainly, uh, home. I'm not building other things now. Why? Because I'm done. <laughs> the, that arch right there, that was one that I just picked up in a pickup truck when they were just tearing down all the redwoods up north. Frankly, I wasn't very involved in the door. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, although then it kind of connected with me having a, uh, them paint, do this, these paintings here. Tupton and Loden, <laughs> that's their signatures. Well, this is an old uh, Inverness telephone pole that different than these columns. Uh, you see that after the uh, Loma Prieta quake, uh, we added steel. Because <laughs> I remember being in here and it was shaking around. Yeah, it's held up remarkably well. Well, this is the first room uh, when we're building the house, my wife and I, and then three children. So we were all in this one room. I generally will spend a day on the site and do paintings for me to get an inner feeling of what is this really about. So I think that the building part of it needs to be connected to a larger picture. And yeah, and now I can enjoy what's here. It's kind of a monument.
50, 60 years of architecture um, tr trained me not to shut things down, but to open them up, I think, you know. I don't know, I guess in my life, it's just always been making the connections.